Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Pay Per Preview. We are here today to talk about WWE Backlash. But where are our manners? This is the Marty Jannetty of the group. <laughs> Rodimus Prime missed the first place. Yeah. Yeah, he won, no regrets. Boom. Don't this look sexy on me? No. And you know what? You know what? If you're the Marty Jannetty of the group, then I'm the Shawn Michaels of the group. War Machine MJ. I'm just a fan. And... I took second place in no regrets. And of course, I'm joined by my mainstream machine brethren. You would be the Kevin Nash of the group. No, he's the Ahmed Johnson of the group. Who? Why? Mm -hmm. I say it's a Kevin Nash. Okay. Well, we'll take that. <laughs> anyway, Mr. Third Place, the first ever Wonder Shop Series champion, mainstream Malcolm. Want to give him a little shake and bake? Adjust yourself, huh? Damn it. Malcolm, I done told you about that, bro. Ah, uh, uh, uh. uh, here we go. All right. Anyway, we are here today to talk about WWE Backlash, the first co branded pay per view, which doesn't make the big five look important. No. I don't know anymore. Uh, quick question Where is Backlash going to be held at? New York, New Jersey. You sure? Mm hmm. Okay. okay. All right, because. They said there's gonna, Joe said Roman Reigns is going to be separated over the tri-state area. Right? Oh, yeah. Well, that is the home of next year's WrestleMania, which will be at MetLife Stadium. But anyway, we're here to talk about Backlash. WrestleMania is a few months away. Yep. Anyway, let's start off with the pre-show. It was just announced today that Bailey, yes, the huggable one herself, will take on the leader of the riot, well, the former riot squad. What are you talking about former? There still is a riot squad. Oh, I'm thinking, no, of, I'm thinking of absolution. Yeah, I was about to say, there's no absolution. You okay. Son of a absolution has been dissolved. Okay. The leader of the Riot Squad, Rude Riot. Uh, not much to say here. They just kind of changed tracks for Bailey. Yeah. Bailey's momentum since NXT has flourished no in way. such a negative way. Like Malcolm said, it's just been a downward spiral. I mean, they were setting up a good program between her and Sasha. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, why didn't they do it here? Only time will tell us. You wait the world time. may never know. That's what I was going for. Oh, right. Anyway. What only, what What will happen? What will happen? But anyway. How many lakes does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? A one, a two. Uh, <clears throat> the world may never know. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. who y'all picking? I'm going Bailey. I got Ruby Riot. Ah, oh, fuck. Ruby Riot, right, yeah. Because she's going to have backup regardless. Yeah, she's yeah. going to have the Riot Squad. And squad. Bailey's only backup is Sasha, so. You know. uh, <laughs> the Riot family. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Anyway. So they say Riot, I say Bailey. We'll see how it turns out on Sunday. Then we'll go to this tag team match. It's going to be the team of the winner of the greatest Royal Rumble ever, Braun Strowman, teaming up with Bobby Lashley, who's back to dominate, taking on. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Best friends from Canada. Yes. Yeah. Now, anyway, uh, yeah, Braun Strowman is the holder of the prestigious insert title name here because that has been deleted. Yes. Yeah, WWE doesn't like bringing that up, apparently. No. Not now because all the controversy and shit. Well, I wouldn't say that. It's just they sent out a tweet, you know, with a picture of all four men, you know, saying this has been announced for the card and it had Braun Strowman with that lovely title around his shoulder. Yeah. But then they deleted that, like, moments later. That's weird. But anyway, um, they did have a tag team match on Raw. Or was it a... It was a six-man tag. It was a six-man. Because they had um, Reigns and Jinder Mahal in the match. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I can tell you what, the crowd was definitely hot for one Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. And even Kevin's father was in the crowd uh, giving some smart remarks to Roman Reigns. They kind of cheered uh, for Mahal as well, a little bit. Well, they cheered when he first came out. Yeah. yeah. After that, it was... <clears throat> yeah. Because he's from Canada, too. No, he's from India. No, 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 he's actually from Canada, yeah. He's from India. You don't notice, but I'm winking. Oh, fuck. We got to keep kayfabe. Uh, yeah. Kayfabe is dead. Oh, Who the hell oh, cares? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's, from, he's from Canada. Yeah, he's from Canada. Yeah, we all know that. Oh, I wasn't trying to be a dick. It's just... Oh. Yeah. You just kind of try to keep K-Fabe alive? Yeah, just working with K-Fabe. But of course they were going to go crazy for KO and Sami Zayn. They were in Canada. 
Of course. Like, I mean, that's what I'm saying. They're like in Montreal area. They from Montreal. I think they were in Montreal. Yeah, they were. They were in Montreal, okay, right, but they yeah. from like small cities outside of. Yeah, because they kept saying, oh, you know. He's 20 miles from here. And 20 there. miles, 30 miles, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, I think this uh, I think this match should be okay. I'm picking Lashley and Strowman. I'm picking Lashley and Strowman too, but I feel like Sami Zayn is going to eat the pin. Yeah. If he's not going to get ran over by Braun Strowman. Or no, that would be Kevin Owens. <laughs> Kevin Owens Kevin keeps Owens, getting yeah. run over. He keeps getting ran over like. Like, it's nothing in the world. Well, he's getting a hockey check. Yeah. That's or, all it is. Like, he just runs up, bam! Short attack. Or like how they used to do in baseball when they ran to the plate and just... Charged the mound. Just charged the uh, catcher. Yeah, charged the catcher. Yeah, but anyway. We all going Lashley and Strowman? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, we all going. Yeah. All right. The next match will be Daniel Bryan taking on Big Cass. Now, as we all know, Daniel Bryan is back. He's wrestling again. He's doing what he loves. Big Cass is back, so you might as well say this is like a battle of uh, David versus Goliath. God, it's so overused. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it is overused, but it's well, something I can come up with. The better cliche is basically... Um, Ray Mysterio versus somebody else. No, we're, we're going to get away from the big small thing. Oh. Basically, Big Cass was back from injury, but his return was overshadowed by Daniel Bryan's return to form. Okay. Yes. Because everybody wanted to see the yes man, yes, you know, the yes, short guy, yes, yes. when Big Cass is pretty much, you know, he's tall, he's well educated, he's good looking, debatable. Debatable. Now, they did have that stare off on SmackDown, and I saw a meme where it said Daniel Bryan versus Big Cass's chest. Because <laughs> Daniel Bryan, was, if you saw it, he's like up here to his chest. And he kept looking at him like, it was like uh, the fuck. It's like from NXT, Rhino versus Baron Corbin. Oh, yeah. Uh, but I mean... Uh, no, but they kept uh, Daniel Bryan off of SmackDown this week because uh, he because of risk of infection. Because, my God, his chest looked like raw hamburger meat. Ugh, those chops from Roger Strong, brutal in every sense of the word. Sorry, but Roger Strong's been beaten Yeah. by Walter. After no regrets, it just sounded like meat just kept slapping Travis Banks. Yeah. But I wouldn't be surprised if The Miz got involved. I uh, mean, Miz being is... the rivalry between Daniel Bryan and The Miz. Miz isn't going to get involved. But He's I'm... got his own issues. Yeah, we'll get to that in just a minute. But I'm picking Daniel Bryan. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go Dark Horse. I'm going to say Big Cass. Hmm. Okay. I, I feel like they're going to give this a little bit more legs. Uh, Big Cass is going to pull out a dirty win. I could see that. Uh, I feel like the end of this rivalry is going to culminate with Daniel Bryan finally making the big man tap out. Yeah. What do you say, Malcolm? Fuck. Uh, these nuts? No, it's fine. Uh, Daniel Bryan, I guess. Okay. I think he's going to win. But that might happen with him just said, though. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I mean, I feel like they'll take the angle that uh, Defiant did between Joe Hendry and Martin Kirby, where Joe Hendry just beat the holy hell out of Martin Kirby until he showed signs of concussion. Yeah, I'm not saying they're gonna go exactly that route, but close to it. Basically, the referee is saying stop. He can't continue. Yeah, he's fucking out, bro. I mean, well, I'll see how it plays out, but I can see your point. Yeah, the next match will be this. Samoa Joe taking on, as we like to call him, Big Dog Wolf Wolf, no, my yard piss. Jesus, oh my God. Roman Reigns. Boo. Now, let's <laughs> set the picture up. Boo. Now, uh, Samoa Joe came back, I think it was the night after WrestleMania. Yeah, he did, because uh, Roman Reigns was bitching and crying because he lost. Like a little bitch. Yeah, yeah, and basically Samoa Joe said, every time you and Brock get in the ring, you get beat up, you get beat down, Brock's pockets get fatter. And you're just a loser. He's, it's pretty much he's pretty much saying, Roman Reigns, you suck. Grow up. That too. That too. And you're a fucking failure. It seems that Vince has cooled down on Roman Reigns. Yeah, because people don't like him. It's not that people don't like him. It's just that he's forced. The 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 experiment hasn't gone the way that Vince wants it. So he's just like fuck it. Yeah, because uh, nobody's flocking to Roman. Yeah. The one time that they flocked to Roman, they they bungled it. Mm -hmm. Like when he when he beat the hell out of Triple H and beat up Vince. Yeah. That was great. Then they bungled it because next week he's just like, oh, I'm going to play by the rules. Yeah. 
I just assaulted two of my bosses. But nope, I'm champion. I'm going to play by the rules. I got what I wanted. Yeah. Samoa Joe, I mean, from the looks of it, he still hasn't lost a step despite coming back from injury. I feel like this match would be pretty good. Yeah. I, I think it should give it. I think this good. match should get. No, no. He said uh, hasn't lost a step considering he just came back from a foot injury. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Now, this match should get some time at least. I'd say a good 15 to 20 minutes. That said, I want to say Samoa Joe, but I feel like they're going to go Roman Reigns. No, fuck that. I don't feel like Roman Reigns is 100%. Like, guarantee-wise. Yeah. Considering he lost at WrestleMania, yeah. which he was 100% you know, favored to win. Yeah. Uh -huh. He lost at Greatest Royal Rumble. Which we are new. They claim he lost. He lost, but it was a botch. It was a yeah. botch finish. But he was going to lose you know, when he was the 100% certainty. Now, you know, it's starting to sour on him. Yeah. So, I'm going to say Joe's going to kill Reigns. Mainstream, who you say? Joe, 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 Joe. Nation of Violence. De yeah. 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 I mean, anything can happen, but, you know. You want I the Nation of Violence came to come back? That was shit. Yeah, that was. We we don't need to talk about he that. He just came out there with that random ass machete. And that fake ass tattoo. Th those fake ass face tattoos. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about that another time. I mean, he got this. cool entrance track, but what the fuck? That was garbage. Let's talk about another match that's that, garbage. that some people may find to be garbage. It's the SmackDown Women's Championship, the new champion, the current uh, champion, Carmella, taking on the former champion, Charlotte Flair. Charlotte's going to win. I would not say that. Really? Because post-WrestleMania SmackDown, Charlotte got cashed in. Mm -hmm. And Carmella won the belt with the help of the Iconics. The Iconics. The Iconics. Iconics. And it seems like Carmella has formed an alliance with Billy Kay and Peyton Royce. Mm -hmm. I can see that working. But then Charlotte got friends too, in a way. I, Becky Lynch is a friend, but I feel like Asuka's kind of like... Uh, Man. Kind of like that predator just waiting to pounce. Just one day. Basically, you're saying she's going to turn heel soon. I wouldn't say turn heel. Just I'm not saying she's faced. I'm just saying... She's going to challenge her. Again. Yeah, she's just waiting for, you know, the right time. And she's going to come with whoever has that belt. I'm coming for you. And kick their bloody head off. Yeah. I mean, with the, th the thing with Becky, a lot of people say that she should... Um, she should have went to Raw. No, she should have turned heel. Oh. I don't, I don't know how that played out because, you know, like you said, she's formed an alliance, being Carmella with the Iconics. Charlotte, she has friends like Naomi, uh, Becky, Oscar, so on and so forth. Fans with me, I got. She's friends with me, bro. And that too. Yeah. She she could have went to Raw though. Yeah, but teamed up with Ember Moon. That would have been cool as shit. And you know this match is gonna be yeah. Man. I'm gonna say by hook or by crook, Carmella is still gonna walk out, still the SmackDown Women's Champion. Seconded. Fuck. Oh. Like You're gonna say Charlotte, aren't you? Yeah. Fucking ain't no shame in it. Yeah, ain't no shame in it. Charlotte. So we both go Carmella. He says Charlotte. Let's talk about the Raw Women's Championship. Oh. It's gonna be the irresistible force. Nia Jax taking on Five Feet of Fury. Little Miss Bliss. Alexa Bliss. These these moment of bliss segments. I saw the first one. I didn't see the second one. I've seen all of them. I, there's only been two so far. <sighs> The second one is what killed me, like, it's a five minutes into it. It's a cup nine. It wasn't that. It wasn't I, a cup I know, nine. I know. I just... No, like, uh, basically, with these moments of bliss, Alexa Bliss is trying to play the victim in this bullying scenario. Probably. Yeah. So, uh, uh, the first first moment of bliss was talking about how Nia Jax just basically um, ate food greedily in front of a, a homeless person, mm -hmm. ate a beaten burrito bowl. Yeah. Oh, Lord. It's, it's dumb because she said burrito bowl, and I'm like... This is our thing. I know, but why? Well, what got me was because the second one was Alexa Bliss talking about how Nia Jax bullied her at Disney World. Oh, my God. What killed it for me was the first line. When we went to Disney World, she would say, "Are you old enough? Are you tall enough to ride the adult rides?" That's it. Jesus Christ! 
I busted out laughing. Jesus Christ. I was like, brakes, done, nope, gone. Oh, God. I kill it. <laughs> but uh, let's go ahead and move on with who we think is going to win. All in favor of Nia Jax, say aye. Aye. I was thinking. I think somehow, somehow, Alyssa going to win. You you thinking and I'm stinking. Anyway, you, so you say Alexa? Yeah. Okay. I say Nia. We say Nia. He says Alexa. No, let's no, no, no. Wait. 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 I'll say Nia too. Okay. Say Nia? Okay. Yeah. Okay, we're all in agreement. Yeah, Nia's going to win. Yeah. Nia's going to squish her in there. Yeah, gonna, so, you know, Lux has been champion. Squish. champion uh, Lux has been champion multiple times, so I feel like Nia's going to win anyways. Yeah, she could She could stand to stay out of the main event picture for a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Kind of cool her jets a little bit. Because she's been champion for a while, so I, I think Nia's going to win too. Maybe. They can, you know, interweave storylines again. Maybe she can egg on. Sasha and Bailey. That would be interesting. And then she would go into a feud with Ember Moon. I can see that. They would Ember's have a my girl. They would have a kick-ass match. Ember? Yes. Ember's my girl. Yes. My baby. Fucking love Ember. My baby. Let's move on to the next match. It will be for this right here. The United the States Championship. It will be the charismatic enigma. Jeff Hardy taking on Mr. Voices himself, Randy Orton. Now, I will say this. You know, having Jeff on SmackDown, he's had his history on that show, being former WWE Champion, World Heavyweight Champion. Tag team. Tag team, the whole nine. Champions of champions. Having that rare, you know, great match against The Undertaker. Oh, on Raw? I thought that was SmackDown. No, it was on Raw. Oh. I think it was for the WWE title. Okay. Maybe but it was a great wrong. match, though. Yeah, it was a great match. I thought it was on SmackDown for some reason. Yeah, but uh, Randy Orton, we all like Randy, but he doesn't need this belt. No. I'm just going to go ahead and throw it out there. Jeff Hardy's going to win. He needs his own actual belt, like the RKO belt. <laughs> Not or giant sperm belt. What? Not his belt. Or multiple wives belt. Ah. All those fake wives they gave him. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, I'm going Jeff Hardy. You? <sighs> Fuck. Uh, uh, Jeff Hardy. Okay. All right. Next match might as well be a gimme. It's going to be for the WWE Intercontinental Title. It's going to be Mr. Monday Night Grand Slam Rollins. Burn it down. Burn it down. Mr. Kingslayer, burn it down. Just burned down the whole motherfucking castle. Seth Rollins Ooh, taking King on Slayer. the awesome one himself, The Miz. No, you didn't say it right. You gotta say it. The Miz. The Miz. My bad. The Miz. Bars. The, what? Anyway, what? <laughs> this one's a gimme all because, do the math, people. Miz is on SmackDown. SmackDown already has a mid-card belt. So Raw Seth Rollins is on Raw. That belt's going nowhere. Yeah. Seth Rollins is going to win. He's going to win. All in the grants of Seth Rollins, say burn it down. Or just say I. Grand Slam Rollins. Okay. You? Pickles, Piffle, Dip, Piffle, Dip, Whatever you uh, Yeah, I'll say yeah. We're all in agreement of Rollins. And now the main event will be a no disqualification match for this prestigious belt right here. The WWE Championship. It will be the Nutcracker Shinsuke. No, no, no. no. The, hit, the one that likes nuts that wants to hit them all the time. No, no, no. The rock star. The rock star, Shinsuke Nakamura, taking on the phenomenal AJ Styles. Now, we all saw what happened at WrestleMania when Nakamura just shot everybody with the heel hey, turn. Man. Oh. Hit him with the low blow multiple times. And like I told these guys off Come air. Check. Oh. <laughs> like I told these guys off air, it's just annoying to, to me. It's just now annoying. No, it's not. No. No. Because he gets that forearm up in there and dumps him over his shoulder. Oh, yeah. Now, just, just AJ selling it the whole time. He was just like, oh, my God, my bones. He's just like, oh, my baby. Even though he's got a grip on the forearm, he's still selling it. Why, we great. see you, man. We see you. Like brother. me and Ty were talking about at work. It's a good thing uh, AJ has four kids because apparently he don't want, he don't want him having any more. No. Nope. And all them so. hits in the balls. Now, the nice touch to the story was um, 
the SmackDown before Greatest Rumble, they had that um that tag team match. Yeah. Where it was uh Nakamura and Rusev Day taking on, you Rusev know D. Styles Club. Yeah. Yeah, let's just call him Styles Club. Anyway, um after the match that at, after the match was over, you know, it came up without a fly. Anyway, um you know, Shinsuke, you know, low blowed AJ, was gonna hit him with Kinshasa. Carl Anderson took the bullet. My baby, no. <laughs> bullet. Magic. Ah. Anyway, and before um before AJ could try and, you know, take the bullet for his friend, Carl Anderson, you know, Carl Anderson took another Kinshasa to the face. Yes. Yeah. Best friends, that's what best friends are for. And then at Greatest Rumble, even though the match was meh, meh, end result was pretty good, where they basically were, AJ lost it and just beat the holy hell. I'm sorry, you hearing my pulse. Yeah. <laughs> I did like that promo on uh, SmackDown when AJ was out there and Samoa Joe came out there. I did like how uh, Nakamura's music played, and Joe was just ready to just, he was just yeah. ready to throw him up. Yeah, like, where you at? Like, throw him up. And he turned the camera turn. And, turn. Ugh. and that was just, ugh. Yeah. And it's just like. It's like he enjoys doing that shit. I love it. Again, it's a good thing AJ has kids, because apparently Nakamura don't want him having anymore. AJ has enough mouths to feed as it is. So. Himself, his <laughs> he don't want none. He don't want no more. He don't want none. <gasps> but you know what? I feel like this would be a really good match out of the, this is what, the third time they faced off? Yeah, this is the third match. I think third Fourth time. Fourth time, you uh, <laughs> include. <laughs> okay, third time in WWE. Yeah. Fourth time overall. Well, third time in WWE. We're just counting WWE. Yeah. But I feel like a new champion will be crowned. Nakamura, he's fought for the belt before. He's come up short. Shinsuke Nakamura, in my opinion, will be your new WWE champion. So good it, my brother. Yes, good yes. day, good day, yes. Yes. I say Shinsuke as well. Oh okay, yeah. okay. So we're all agreeing yeah. Shinsuke Nakamura. Yeah. However, I feel like AJ's going to win, but they're going to drag this out a little bit longer. <sighs> I, I mean, I mean I, I'm, I'm, I'm an AJ fan, but he's been champion long enough. He's been champion since like early November last year. Yeah, so he's he he needs to drop that belt right now. After Shinsuke had that horrible feud with Jinder Mahal, that over was stupid. That thing that was stupid. By oh the way. god, that was terrible. They they need to give Shinsuke that belt. Yeah, right now. Because I mean, he's fought for the belt what at least four times already, and failed horribly. Three, four times already. Yeah, I think two on uh, both uh, feuds. Yeah, which was ridiculous. So I mean. They need to give him that belt right now. This We're all going with Nakamura. So. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, he no speak English. Me speaking no English. I saw where he's actually demanding that be put on a shirt. Speak well. no English. Might as well. So I don't know if WWE is going to go for it. I doubt it. Racist. Uh, I mean, they might. It, yeah, because it sounds racist. And then yeah. they might get them three ups. But anyway, that is our preview of WWE Backlash this Sunday. Man, that has come fast. On the WWE Network. Yeah, just pretty much felt like Greatest Rumble was just, you know, like a network special. It was, yeah. It kind of is. It was a warm-up show. But anyway, we'll that see. That show ya. sucked. It was full of controversies. And one that one funny... The part, one funny moment. The only good part about it. Just Titus O'Neil tripping up. He's already got his shirt. Titus World Slide. He said that on Raw. I like how he fought, fell, <laughs> It's said... trying to get in that ring... <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I just, just feel, like. <laughs> I just feel like they they killed that already. The Titus World Slide. Yeah. Oh, and then they was like, whoa, 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 whoa. And then Apollo Cruz got down there and he wiped it off with a towel. That was yeah. Funny, that was cool. Funny motherfuckers. But anyway, at least he's a good sport about it. Yeah. Yeah. He's gonna make a lot of money off that too. And Barry Corbin was like, uh -huh. why are you doing that? You should be fighting a real man. You should be for real about this. No. I did think that was funny how he cost Baron Corbin that match. Yeah, well, you know what's sad? Um, I can't remember where I heard it from. Mm -hmm. it may have been going in raw, but uh, Baron Corbin. Yeah, Baron Corbin. So, how he could have had that push that Jinder Mahal's having now. I know, man. Yeah, damn. Yeah. What kind of shit is going on with that? <coughs> Baron Corbin should have been champion like last year. Or something. Unfortunately, he could have had it, but. That's they gonna, they gonna waste on they they wasting Corbin right now. As they, they are because he's underrated as fuck. Because this this thing with him and No Way Jose it's should be a, stupid. It should be a quick feud now. Him and Titus, I could actually 
be invested in it. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I, I could mean, be invested in that. It might yeah. be a quit for you, but I could be invested. It'll still be, it'll be better than him and fucking no way who's here. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna have a review of Greatest Royal Rumble up pretty soon. Do we have to? I mean, me and Rod are gonna do it. But, you know, yeah. All depends on if you want to. I'll just sit in the back and just laugh at you at the at the uh, at laugh at y'all for doing that. Cause... Okay, I'll put it to you this way. If we go through with it, it's either going to be you know on the weekend when you are available, or it's going to be on the w during the week when we're available. I mean, I'll, I'll just yeah. If it's during the weekend, I'll just watch y'all do it. Okay. Cause no pressure. I mean, no pressure. I'm no just pressure. saying, like you know, we might record it you know Monday. Yeah. Will be. <laughs> Will be. <laughs> but anyway. I mean, the show was kind of <laughs> shite. Yeah, I mean, it was it was shit. Let's be real. Yeah, I mean, knew who was gonna win and all that shit. Well, except for Roman, that was the only weird one. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. But if you wanted a better pay per view to watch from that weekend, no regrets. And Defiant. that was a good show. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! By the way, that's Defiant Wrestling. By the way, that's Defiant. Yes, <laughs> formerly known as what coach? Yes, access .defiant .com. Sign up. It's like eight bucks a month, mm -hmm. but you get exclusive access to uh, their pay-per-views, as well as early views of Loaded. Early. Right now, they're about to do um, Road to Destruction, but they've already announced two matches. Hmm. So far, it's uh, Millie McKenzie, the current Defiant Women's Champion, taking on Lana Austin. She's still champion. And a triple threat for the internet title. Former champion Travis Banks, current champion Volter, and former, former champion... Zack Saber Jr. Oh my God! Oh, so yeah, sign up for Access Defiant. That triple threat is going to be a goddamn barn burner. Yes, burner. We got a lot of stuff coming up besides that. Oh shit! We have. Uh, we should have a uh, review of Dominion, New Japan Pro Wrestling. Dominion. I looked that up on the calendar. That is June 9th on a fucking Saturday. Okay. So that's good. And we have two big matches that should be on the card. Wait, has, has the card already been set? Well, the two big matches that we know of okay. have been set. Jerk yeah, because we need to actually do a preview before it happens because we, uh, we missed out on Dantaku. Yeah, <laughs> but we can still watch it, though, yeah, even but though I mean, it's already happened. I made preview, so now we won't get points on yeah. One Shop Series. But anyway, the two big matches on the card should be Chris Jericho versus Tetsuya Naito for the Intercontinental title. Going on the list, baby! And Okada Omega Part 4. This time, no time limit, two out of three falls for the IWGP Heavyweight Championship. Holy shit. This time, holy fuck. There is no rematch. So, who wins, know. it's over, pretty much. No, I was just, you know, that old, whole cliche where this time it's personal. Yeah. Something like that. No, you coin. But I tried to avoid that, so I went, this time there's no rematch, because I assume they're going to be done with this. Yeah. Done with shit. So, a lot should be happening between uh, now and then. Uh, we've also got the next co- I guess it's the next co-branded, uh, Money in the Bank. I don't even know anymore. Yeah. Fuck me. When Which, is Money in the Bank? I don't know. Uh, June something. June. All I know is before Money in the Bank, we're getting takeover. Yes. Best part of that weekend. You know what's also coming up? Which on the ground? Season four. Takeover. Oh yeah, takeover. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, next day. Wait. Yeah, right. Uh, right. season four of uh. Flucha. Flucci. What day is that again? June the thirteenth. Yeah, June thirteenth. Yeah. Okay. I think. I so. had to think about what day that was. But Lucha oh, your mom's birthday. That's what it is. Uh, Actually, my mom's birthday is on the last day of June. Ha <laughs> ha. Ah. Oh. You're close though. How oh, considerate. Yeah. That close. You no, know, my birthday's on. Next Friday. Yeah, it's next Friday. Oh. I've already got your birthday gift. <gasps> Which is... I'm still going to get yours. I'm not going to tell you. Uh, not now. I'm going to let the folks at home see it. When you see it. Mm. So that's next week. Mm -hmm. When we record our review of Backlash. I can't wait. Yes. Oh. But anyway, let's oh, go you're, ahead. You're going to love it. Let's go ahead and sign out. I'm... The first place champion, Mr. Rodham's pride Ooh, himself. 20. I'm done with this title, War Machine MJ. And that's this guy right here with his gray bulldog shirt on. The dual champion, mainstream, Malcolm. One half of 
the mainstream machine. You better know something. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you guys next time. Bam.